Hi, I'm Fairley. I'm on a graduate placement here at Nature Scott. I've been here for about a year, so I'm coming towards the end of my placement now. Um, I've been trying to assess drought risk in Scotland in the near future. So I spend most of my time coding and then mapping drought, uh, which looks like this. All of the placements at Nature Scott vary quite a lot, so I've come at mine from quite a research academic -y angle uh, because that's what I'm interested in. But there's plenty that are more about communication or engagement or practical conservation skills, so they can be really valuable depending on uh, your interests. Now, I came into this sector uh, from a slightly non-traditional route. My undergraduate degree was in history. Uh, because that's what I was interested in in school. But when I finished, I realised that I wanted to be a uh, proper scientist. Um, but I felt like that was something that I couldn't do because I just got this history degree. And it turned out that that totally was not true. Um, I was able to get a internship with the RSPB uh, doing practical conservation skills and then a master's degree in ecology, uh, which has brought me to where I am now, working with climate models and doing very sciencey things. So I think the biggest thing that I've taken away from that, um, especially also as a woman in science and an LGBTQ person in science, is to not automatically discount options because you don't have the skills or experience kind of right at that second. Um, especially when applying for jobs and placements and things, you don't necessarily have to fulfill every single one of the criteria when you apply. A lot of jobs will be happy to take you on and train you if you're kind of eager and committed and willing to learn. So don't uh, unnecessarily or artificially narrow your horizons um, because opportunities can sometimes come from quite unexpected places.